Good evening and welcome to our service of evening prayer for Tuesday, the 3rd of November. As always, we begin with our service of light, so I will light our candle. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can extinguish. And let us sing together our hymn to the light, Christ, mighty Savior. Christ, mighty Savior, light of all creation, you make the daytime radiant with sunlight, and to the night give glittering adornment, stars in the heavens. Now comes the day's end, as the sun is setting, mirror of daybreak, pledge of resurrection, while in the heavens choirs of stars appearing, hallow the night fall. Therefore we come now, evening rites to offer, joyfully chanting holy hymns to praise you, with all creation, joining hearts and voices, singing your glory. And our psalm is Psalm number 68, uh, verses 1 to 10. Let God rise up, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, let the wicked perish before God. But let the righteous be joyful. Let them exult before God. Let them be jubilant with joy. Sing to God. Sing praises to his name. Lift up a song to him who rides upon the clouds. His name is the Lord. Be exultant before him. Father of orphans and protector of widows is God in his holy habitation. God gives the desolate a home to live in. He leads out the prisoners to prosperity, but the rebellious live in a parched land. O God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth quaked, the heavens poured down rain at the presence of God, the God of Sinai, at the presence of God, the God of Israel. Rain in abundance, O God, you showered abroad. You restored your heritage when it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O God, you provide for the needy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us sing uh, one of my favorite hymns, Fairest Lord Jesus. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, Fair are the meadows, fairer 
than all the angels heaven can boast. All fairest beauty, heavenly and earthly, wondrous it is, us is Gospel is Luke 13, 1 to 9. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, at that very time, there were some present who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. He asked them, Do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were worse sinners than all other Galileans? No, I tell you. But unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those eighteen who were killed when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others living in Jerusalem? No, as I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish just as they did. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, See here, for three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil? He replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year, until I dig round it and put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So at Jesus' time, uh, people were wondering uh, why pe other people suffered misfortune. Uh, like those, uh, they were probably rebels who Pilate had sac uh, executed. Um, they were probably zealots uh, who might have done something against, against the Roman Empire, of course. Um, but also other people who seem to be just innocent and this tower just falls on them and, uh, and kills 18 people in one go. People all along have said, why did this happen? There must have been a purpose. They must have done something. And Jesus says, they weren't any worse sinners, but unless you repent, you will die the same way they did. In other words, I think he's really talking about the fact that death can happen to anyone at any time. Um, but to be repentant means to, to live your life in accordance with God's will. It doesn't mean groveling in the dirt for your sins. It means aligning your will to God's will. That's what repentance means. It means to change direction. Sometimes it's a 180 degree direction. Sometimes it's a course correction as we align our way into God's will. That means listening for the voice of God. That means discerning what God's will is for us and carrying it out. And then Jesus tells this wonderful parable about the fig tree. The owner goes to the fig tree three times or for three years in a row, no figs, cut it down. And then, then of course, here's the parable bit. Uh, the gardener says, let, let me care for it. Let, let me dig around it, put manure around it, um, and then give it one more chance. And I think Jesus is saying that Jesus himself is there to give all the people a chance, to give the people a chance to return, repent, align their will into God's will, way. And uh, therefore, grace, uh, God's grace can flow through them. Their lives can be blessed. Uh, they can be a blessing to others. And that, therefore, gives us a chance to turn our lives around uh, and to be people of God. So let us take this to heart. Uh, Jesus gives us the chance to uh, come closer to God and align our will with his. Let us sing our next canticle, and we're going to sing Ubi Caritas. Ubi caritas et amor, ubi caritas Deus ibias, ubi caritas et Deus 
confess the faith of our baptism in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And in our prayers today, when I say, Lord, in your mercy, please respond with, hear our prayer. For the Church of the living God throughout the world, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who proclaim the word of truth, let us ask the infinite wisdom of Christ, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who have consecrated their lives to the kingdom of God, and for all struggling to follow the way of Christ, let us ask the gifts of the Spirit, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For Elizabeth, our Queen, for the Prime Minister of this country, and for all who govern the nations, and especially we pray for the people of the United States as they are electing a new president, that they may strive for justice and peace. Let us ask the strength of God, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For scholars and research workers, that their studies may benefit humanity, Lord, let us ask the light of the Lord, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For all who have passed from this life, let us ask the peace of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick in our parish and those known to each one of us who are gathered together in this way. Today we pray for Jane Ross, Jim Glass, Doug McDonald, Bill Crandall, Ahmad Masse, Judy Graham, for Jane Gatke, Marilyn Abraham, Jeff Smith, for Bernice Peterson, for Peter Robertson, for Melanie and family, Cheryl Clark, Allie, Lynn Aitkins, Eileen Spidel, Pat and Les Matthews, Dana Moran, and Betty Goodchild. Uh, we also pray for uh, Michael Benoit. We pray, O oh Lord, for their health and well-being and that they might know the healing touch of Jesus in their lives and have wholeness of being in body, mind, and spirit. Lord, in your mercy hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our refugee families still in Beirut, for Muhammad, Karima, Fatim, and Ahmed al-Alam. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for 10 more households on our parish list, and if you're joining us from another parish or community, I invite you to pray for members of your community as well. Today, we pray for Rodney and Julie Bentley, for Lorraine Barrington and Amy and Sarah, for Donald and Ginny Betker, for Marion Bins, for Ethel Bird, for Steve and Helen Bittner, for Gregory and Gail Blanchard, for Don and Christine Bogle, for Faye Bonanno, and for Iris Bonanno. We give thanks for them, O oh Lord. We pray for their well being and pray that they might know they belong to a community of faith which cares and prays for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, today uh, we pray for the Diocese of Rochester in England and the Right Reverend James Langstaff, their bishop, the Diocese of Rochester in the Episcopal Church, and the Right Reverend Prince Singh, their bishop, the Diocese of Kushtia in Bangladesh, the Right Reverend Samuel Sunil Mankin, who is um, bishop and also primate, we pray for the Diocese of Rockhampton in Australia uh, as they are electing a new bishop. 
the Diocese of Delhi in North India, and the Right Reverend Waris K. Masse, their bishop, and the Diocese of Kutiki in Nigeria, and the Right Reverend Jeremiah Kolo, their bishop. We pray for all the clergy and people of those dioceses. And let us pray our favorite prayer from New Zealand. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. In your name we pray. Amen. And the collect for this week, Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We sing together, Bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Bless the Lord, my soul, and bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, my soul, who leads me into life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. May the Lord of peace give us peace in all ways and at all times. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. I hope that you'll be able to join us tomorrow evening as well. Good night.